Hello, I'm Roy Matthew, and I'm a software developer at the MathWorks. In this video, I will introduce a C function block and how you can use it to integrate external code into Simulink. C function block allows you to bring external code into your Simulink model and add any additional C interface code directly inside the block. This block will seamlessly translate signals from the Simulink context into the C code that you want to write. Now, I'll show you a demo that explains the C function block. In this demo, you'll see how to set up external code to call from a C function block, import struct types to Simulink to use in a model, how to set up C function block ports, and where and how to write the C code in a block. Here I have some external code that I want to call from Simulink. Specifically, I want to call the function counterplus function, and as you can see, the function takes in some structures as inputs, and the structures are defined in this header file. This is the model that I want to call this function from. The first step is to register the external code with Simulink so Simulink knows about it. So for that, we open the configuration parameters and the simulation target pane in the header files. I include my header files that I want to call, and in the source file section, I add any corresponding source files. Once this is added, I can now uh, import the custom types such as structures into MATLAB as Simulink buses. For this purpose, I can use the command simulink.import external C types. And this will import the structures as bus types into MATLAB. The next step is to add the C function block into my model. Now, I would like to type the C code inside the block. Here, I've pasted the prototype of the function that I want to call so that I can easily call it. Now, I can just start typing the function that I want to call. The first input is passed by pointer. Second input, u2, is passed by value. The third input is, in fact, an output which is passed by pointer and then the fourth input is also passed by pointer and that's it now I can map these symbols that I've used inside the block code into ports on the block for that I add the symbols in the symbol table here u1 my first input bus type u2 is my second input which is integer y1 is an output which is also a bus type y2 is also an output which is an integer. Now I can hit apply. Now the ports show up. Now I can connect the block to Simulink. Now I can just simulate the model and that's all. As you can see the simulation worked. Now I'll show you how to generate code. To generate code you can you just need to do build. Here we have the generator code and in the step function we have the external C function that we plan to call and it's inlined into the generator code without additional wrappers and you don't need to write any TLC code to create this generator code. Now, to recap some cool facts about the C function block, you can write the C code inside the block to call external functions. You can write multiple lines of code or you can call multiple functions. You can integrate structures and enumerations directly in the C function block without calculating any offsets. 
The starts and terminate methods are also present in the block. The block also has compile and runtime checking and you can generate a code without writing any TLC code. This block was shipped in 20A and you can try it out. Thank you.